Evolution, the gradual development of something, especially from a simple to a more complex form. After 20 years of catching, training, exploring, battling, grinding, watching, and even twitching, Pokemon has grown in many fantastic ways. But with many stories comes many heroes. Who amongst us can step forward and truly declare themselves the master? The first trainer to lose all of their Pokemon is defeated. So, are you up for the challenge? Or perhaps a better worded question is... So, you wanna be the master of Pokemon? Do you have the skills to be number one? Yo, champs in the making. My name is School is Debated, and we're here at the Guild's Pokemon Lab. And I've got a very special contestant here with me who's ready to try and face all of the gym leaders. So, welcome Elo to the show. Thanks for having me on, guys. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, so uh, before we get started talking too much, let's go ahead and uh, let's just go on the route. As we're walking to your first gym, we'll sort of talk about the six Pokemon that you've uh, you brought on to fight these gym leaders. So let's take a look at your team and see what you have brought. I might as well call this team lineup the Booster Pack, seeing as how all of these guys have been on Pokemon trading card game Booster Pack covers. Starting off with Tyranitar, being on the cover of Ancient Origins as Mega Tyranitar, so uh, Destroyer King happens to be my Mega for the lineup. Uh, followed up by Tunnel Strike the Excadrill, who debuted on the Dark Explorers uh, Booster Pack. Then we have Russian the Keldeo, uh, formerly known from the Boundaries Crossed expansion. Followed up by Scornful Storm, the Salamence, who happen to be in the, from the Dragon Vault expansion, which is a mini one. And then we have uh, Thunderous Therian, aka Raiden Knuckle, who I believe debuted on the Plasma Freeze cover. Led up by Floral Scent, the Venusaur, uh, here from the Dark Explorers expansion, and also here to cover any glaring Azumara weakness that my team happens to have, which happens to be a big one, so that's why he's here. Uh, yeah, it looks like you've got a great lineup. So what are some of the sort of situations that you prepared this team for? So Titar and Excadrill being here are the bread and butter, the backbone of the team, the peanut butter and jelly. Everybody else is just here to spot check. Anything else that Excadrill cannot do, I rely very heavily on it t in order to... Uh, in order to basically get the game going. Uh, Russian Keldeo is here to actually just switch in and be able to do massive amounts of damage right off the back, being a life orb variant, uh, hence rushing in, which is a little bit nice. Uh, Salamence is just a regular old set. Somebody told me it'd be nice to have Intimidate instead of Moxie, but I figure Scornful Storm is a Moxie guy, and it did help. It w I imagine that it will help out a little bit more in the future. Uh, it did help out when we were playtesting together. Mm, and let me see, Thunderous Therian is just a regular nasty plot guy with three attacks, and Venusaur is a physically defensive guy with three attacks. Works better as a Mega, but I try to stay true to what I have on the boosters, which is why Mega Tyranitar Stealth Rocks three attacks. So, are, are there any, you know, do you, do you see any, like, any weaknesses that you might come across? Like, any gym leaders that might have something that'll really give you some trouble? I was getting the vibe initially that fairies were going to give me a lot of problems because outside of Excadrill, I don't have a lot for fairies. In fact, Salamence doesn't like them, uh, Tyranitar doesn't like them, and uh, Keldeo is definitely not a fan of a player of either, so I have a few fairy weaknesses on the team. I've only got one resist, and then with Venusaur being here, v uh, the backbone of the team defensively is Venusaur. Um, Azumarill is a big problem because this team actually happens to be pretty weak both to Azumarill as well as a bunch of other fairies. So I feel like I might put too much uh, faith in Venusaur's abilities, but outside of that, um, it seems to be a pretty okay team. Alright, yeah, seems like a really well-rounded and you, you put a lot of thought into it. So it looks like we're approaching the gym here. Uh, it's in the stadium, uh, if you don't mind following my lead. Hey look, uh, he's setting up for a show right now. Wonder what's going on in the middle of there. Y'all ready to yeah. rock? Let's do it. All right, yeah, we're ready. Um, uh, Elo, are you ready to face Munching Orange, the electric type gym leader? As ready as I will be. All right, so I'm here to give you to give you your obligatory bottle of water. So here's your bottle of water, and uh, I, you know, I've got a little tip for you. Uh, you know, to help you fight, you know, the electric types. You know, did you know that ground is immune to electric types? Really? Yeah, did you know that? Yeah, yeah, I, ha I had a vague idea. <laughs> Alrighty, so are you both ready to start the battle? Let's do I'm it. I'm ready to go.
Alrighty, choose your first Pokemon. You better keep that water handy, boy, because I'm going to make you sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I choose you, Washington. <laughs> Get it? Because he's a washing machine? That's cute. <laughs> I mean, that's where he comes from, but, you know, you can go with that, too. <laughs> Against the Destroyer King. That's a very intimidating name. Oh, and Destroyer King's out of here. He's not staying anymore. Floral set, and the burn comes out. Let's burn your plants. Because <laughs> that's all I'm going to be able to do to it. All right, so I'm, I'm predicting a switch out from, uh, from Munching Orange over here. But I'm going to give my switch a little shock to it. Oh, ho, ho. And the Volt Switch comes out from Washington. I wonder what he's going to switch back into. And now, get ready for my true form. This thing transforms. <laughs> it's mobile games time. <laughs> Mo mobile games? Yeah. Oh, it's Flappy Bird. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hmm. What What is Flappy Bird going to do? Hmm. Maybe avoid some pipes? Some shenanigans here. I think Flappy Bird's got a few tricks up his sleeve. So do I. Oh, the trick failed! <laughs> <laughs> that was my most powerful attack. What shall I do now? Your most powerful attack was trick? Yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, it was, I was putting it all on the line. If your most powerful attack was a trick, I'm interested to see what other moves you have on that thing. I got nothing left. It's time. Mm, to where die! You where are you going? Where are you going? Get back here. Right, I wasn't done right. playing Flappy Bird yet. <laughs> Can you play with my beautiful hair? Maybe. That was, uh, that was a hint to what's coming. Ah. Uh, good, good segue! I don't have much hair now. But believe me, the hair will come out soon. We'll have to give Pantene some Rogaine or something. And the Tyranitar switches out to the Salamence, and the Rogaine worked! <laughs> and the Focus Blast is resisted! And now that you've seen my hair, I can show you my real potential. Of oh, oh, the, the, the dead potential! <laughs> <laughs> the outrage comes out! <laughs> great, great potential. Fantastic. No, 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 this, this is what I meant. This, this, is, this is the real po okay, this okay, is the potential. Okay, okay. Got it. Oh, okay. this is it right here. That was that was practice potential. This is the real. You see, you didn't spell storm right, so I'm sh I'm showing you how here. It's uh, strong. It's, it's strum clearly. <laughs> Scornful strum. Do you believe in the power? I do believe in the power. Oh, it survives. It's a bulky one. I'm a bulky guy. It is. But he won't last for much longer against the dragon. Hmm. It's time for the washing machine. Oh, oh, it's a crit! And it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crit! No! Oh, and it ain't a lumberry. It's not confused. <sighs> it's coming down to the Very good play by the Salamence. Mm -hmm. Goma, I thought you died in Ocarina of Time. Might be running into some trouble here. That's why they walked in. Actually, yeah. See, I knew I was running into trouble when you guys walked in. But I didn't expect this. Alrighty, so the Salamence goes down from the Galvantula. We'll have to see what he sends out instead, and it's back to Mega Tyranitar. All right, Galvantula, you've done good so far, but you're not gonna do very much better. <laughs> well, the Sticky Web comes out, and so do the Stealth Rocks. Just throw out your webs, my webs. They work, sometimes. Sometimes, only when you switch out. Oh, and it's a crit, too. Ooh. Oh, and the Ooh. Rock Slide misses. All right, a little bit your way, that'll work. <laughs> Nice try, but maybe next time you want to hit your attack. <laughs> That's generally the goal. And it's another crit! Oh, two, two crits in a, in a row. row? Can we go for three? Probably not, but I believe. I believe too. Believe in the heart of the Pokemon. Or, uh, you know, oh, it, it could get out of there. It seems a little smarter. Elo making the switch out back to its Exadrill. You're gonna get popped. Not very effective, and no crit, so. Hmm. hmm. It's a tough one. I'm gonna have to pull out something, something here, like uh. Oh, the rock slide hits. Like, eh. I get it like a death. <laughs> like maybe death. Got a lot of pockets for these. <laughs> mm. You know, I've been feeling a lot of death lately. Don't know what's up with that. I'm not used to it for sure. Maybe you should write your next song about death. All right. Is I your bowl ready? You have a little robot Pikachu there. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's my trusty companion. He whispers which attacks to use. <laughs> Doing a little bit better. <laughs> oh. And the Tyranitar comes back out, probably just to get sacked, and it goes down. Wasn't waiting for that one. I wanted to shake the earth because I saw the mole. <laughs> <laughs> Sandstorm comes back out, all the sand getting all of your instruments. Hmm. Hmm. How about I give you my highest note? It's death. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would be the lowest one. Oh, and the rocks the come rocks? out. The rocks? Oh, no. <laughs> the rocks my come out. Own, my own genre took me down? How could it be? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was a fantastic battle. You, uh, uh, Elo, have won yourself the Zoom badge. The Zoom badge? Yeah. Like the the MP3 player from back in the day? Yeah. Props. I love the thing. <laughs> Much rather win a Zoom badge over an iPod Some badge. And say that this badge will help you uh, not die like me. So. <laughs> Maybe you should have held it while you were while you were battling. As long as I I don't die as quickly as the Zoom's sales did, I think I should be okay for the rest of the the rest of the rounds. <laughs> Alrighty. So so let's let's go over to, to, to Munching Orange over here and uh, give a little post battle. So how did you, how do you think that battle went for you? Well, um, you know, I can't say I was expecting to win, but I was definitely not expecting to lose. What? <laughs> <laughs> what were you expecting to happen? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you fought you fought a valiant battle, and hopefully you're you know you can you know write some more songs and come out on top next time. Next time, you'll be the one getting rocked. <laughs> rocks up. <laughs> Stealth rocks. So, Elo, you've come out on top in your very first battle. You've got your zoom badge in, in tow. So how do you think that battle went for you? What, what went good for you? Uh, Excadrill went pretty well in that game. Uh, I saw the team lineup, and I knew right off the bat the only form of speed control he was going to have was Sticky Web. So even if he got that up, I knew even with Excadrill having its speed cut, uh, outside of an agility Ampharos or an agility Zapdos or a Scarf Porygon Z, uh, the rest of my team could pull weight on that, but I also knew I had Thunderous with the Volt Absorb uh, sitting in the back there, which kind of eats up everything that he has except for Mold Breaker and Faros' uh, Thunderbolt there. So with those two Pokemon on the roster, it felt like a pretty cushy uh, lineup. So as long as I kept them safe and I kept Excadrill, you know, speed up, it worked out pretty good. Yeah, well, let's let's hope these next battles work out uh, just as well as this one did, but we'll have to wait until next time. Who's that Pokemon? If you know, or even think you know, go ahead and let us know who it can be in the comments below. And thank you one and all for watching. We've been working on this show for quite a long time and we are absolutely thrilled with how it turned out. But we're also treating this as our pilot season, so if there's anything you think we should add or we, you know, should work on, please just let us know. And please, if you enjoyed the show, subscribe and hit the gear button to get notifications from us so you know when every single video is uploaded, like, right then and there, it's so handy. Also follow us on Twitter and be sure to use the hashtag BeAMaster. It's just easier for us to keep track of. Now, if you would excuse me, I have to find my Azumarill. I haven't seen him all day. Anyway, this is DMAX once again saying thank you for watching, heroes. Now where is that Azumarill? Rye Blue! Rye Blue! You gotta stop running away like this, Rye Blue! Come on, where are you? Ugh!